Hi everyone, this is Atik. I welcome all of you to my channel Engineering Drive. And in this particular video, I am going to start a stream of videos, a series of videos on the subject computer organization. Now in this particular video, let us have an introduction about what is computer organization and its basic and its basics. Computer organization. This is, uh, the, it seems to be like a familiar word, but it is having some depth meaning. What is that meaning? Just I want to speak with you is uh, computer organization. Many people will think that it is nothing but parts of a computer. This subject speaks about parts of a computer. Parts of a computer means like keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, scanner, web camera, speakers these are all parts of a computer whether computer organization is nothing but discussing about parts of a computer i don't think so is it it is wrong actually computer organization here refers to here we are going to discuss about the internal parts of a computer organization is nothing but organizing is nothing but how our computer is designed and how it will work here we are not going to see the physical parts. Here we are going to discuss about the working of internal parts of a computer. What When I say internal parts, what is the meaning of internal parts? Internal parts in the sense like a motherboard, like a RAM, cache memory, read-only memory. All these are nothing but internal parts of a computer which is present inside the cabinet. Now in computer organization, before we are going to discuss on more very important and major concepts of this CO subject, we need to have idea about block diagram of a computer. It is very very essential to understand the functional units of a computer. Functional units of a computer can be explained simply with the help of a simple block diagram. That is, a block diagram is nothing but which consists of first. There is one input unit. First we are having one input unit. Then in the middle we are having one control unit. Input unit, control unit. And then just below this control unit we are having one very very important part of our computer that is ALU which is arithmetic and logic unit this is arithmetic and logic unit these two combined together we call it as central processing unit Generally, we talk about every computer, in every computer, CPU is known as brain of the computer. Without CPU, there is no computer at all. So, what is CPU? It is a combination of two major things. One is a control unit, another one is an arithmetic and logic unit. And only CPU won't do the work in a computer. Along with CPU, in order to do multiple tasks, we need one more component. That component is known as... memory unit so we call this component as memory unit so from input unit the data will be given to CPU that is control unit and ALU they will perform some calculations and processing and then data will be given to finally output unit okay hopefully everybody have got some clarity here that is first of all what is the job of an input unit input unit work is whenever the user presses keyboard keys from the keyboard or whenever user use mouse on a computer the data will be immediately given to input unit what that input unit is going to do it will take the data then by analyzing the data it will pass the data to cpu 
So CPU means there are two things here. One is a control unit, another one is a ALU. Let us say, I will give one small example. One small example. Suppose, I want to do one task on my calculator. Let us take an example of my calculator. There I want to add two numbers. Simply I want to add two numbers. Let us take the value x is equal to 5 and let us take the value y is equal to 10. So these are the two numbers I want to add on a calculator because calculator is also a small electronic machine itself. We can treat that as an example of a computer also without any problem. So let us take a calculator. Here I want to add two numbers. So here in this example, what are the inputs from my side? Input from my side is x and y. What are the values of x and y? One is 5, another one is 10. So this 5 and 10 will be taken by input unit. Then after taking those two values, whatever input unit will do, it won't do any calculations further. This values will be passed to CPU. Now in CPU, the values will be given either to control unit or whether it is given to ALU, values will be given to ALU. In the name itself, an answer is there. Arithmetic and logic unit. The purpose of this unit is it will perform arithmetic and logical operations. So what ALU will do means, so next step. After this, it will be given to ALU. ALU will add these two numbers, that is x plus y. So, which means what you will get? 5 plus 10. So, what is the calculation here? 15. ALU will do these calculations. So, ALU will perform all those calculations. And what output, what is the answer we got here? 15. This 15 will be given to finally output unit. So, in simple words, this x comma y values will be passed to CPU and what this ALU will do it will perform x plus y and then the result of that x plus y so what is the x plus y let us say some answer z this z will be given to this z will be given to output unit okay and then we will get one doubt now what is the use of this control unit now what is the role of this control unit as we know that in the entire computer which is the main part of the computer means motherboard again in a motherboard which is the most important part means cpu again in cpu which is the very very important part the answer is control unit control unit monitors all the activities of the cpu when we are talking about cpu is doing the work internally control unit is doing the work okay now what happened that output will be given back to the user given to the user now what is the job of memory unit here memory unit is nothing but we can take an example of random access memory what is the job of memory unit so many in many situations users don't want to see the output simply they want to perform calculations and they want to store the data in the memory then at that time memory unit will come into usage okay a computer with only CPU but without RAM will not work because a CPU always makes use of random access memory in order to perform various tasks. Input unit and output unit is just nothing but communication media, communication medium where user will interact with the system and system will interact with the user. They are just nothing but input unit is used by the user to interact with the computer output unit is used by the computer to interact with the user they are just a very vital units but the main unit that will make the computer to work properly is one is cpu another one is random access memory the purpose of using random access memory is here the data will be stored whether permanently no it, it is stored temporarily during the temporarily storage of data only our CPU whenever whatever the data it requires it takes the data it will perform calculation and it, will, and it will give back the result to the user in the form of output or that data will be stored in the hard disk which is nothing but a secondary storage media okay so this is about a general working this is nothing but a fun all the working of all the five functional units of a computer so what are the five functional units of a computer one is input unit output unit control unit arithmetic and logic unit and final is 
memory unit. These five units plays a very very vital role to make our computer work properly. So computer organization is nothing but how all these parts, internal parts are organized and how they will work. So in our next two videos, we will be discussing about how our computer performs calculations. Because as we know that computer perf don't perform calculation directly on our decimal numbers. The computer understands only one language that is machine language. So what our computer will do? Whatever the data you will supply, the data will be converted into machine language. Calculations will be done. Again, the data is converted into user understandable format. So how that conversion will take place? How addition will take place? How subtraction will take place? So in our next videos of our computer organization subject, we will be discussing all those concepts. Okay. So let me close this today's session. Hopefully I am going to see you in my next video. See you soon. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Oh, 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 oh,